Fleet Carrier Beta started. Everyone was getting the Fleet Carrier. Except yours truly. And lo, it was true, I did not have enough credits to purchase a fleet carrier in order to report the testing for you. But everything was not lost quite yet. Despite having made videos about how to grind, or at least alleviate grinding by doing the best ways possible, if you're interested, check that video out, it's very full of information. Regardless, I myself really do hate the concept of it. I much rather have a shorter but more pleasant experience. For example, I much rather play through Beginner's Guide than the whole Skyrim, and both are good games. Nevertheless, here's the story and a little bit of a talk, perhaps even a discussion on whether or not it should be possible that you can translate transfer credits from account to account. With the introduction, at least currently in beta, in the way they are, fleet carriers allow you to set up your own commodity market and dictate the prices completely. Oh, well, okay, maybe not exactly completely, but within the reason... Well, that's also not a question. Um, within a maximum minimum values. There we go. And selling as well as buying are separate entities altogether. So some of you probably already know where I'm going with this one. You indeed can buy high and sell low or vice versa. Clearly in a normal market where you want to acquire profit, you'd be selling high and buying low. But because this is for the first ever time a true player market, you can do the vice versa, selling low and buying high, thus transferring the funds to your friend. And that's exactly what one wonderful helpful fan did to help me acquire fleet carriers. Now I didn't need a whole 5 billion, I just needed a little bit extra, like 2 billion at maximum, and that's what he gave me. So what we did was following. First, I go to a starport, purchase as much as I can carry tritium, because that's the most abundant and most expensive commodity you can get. Of course, the more expensive the commodity is, the better for you. Or rather, the less transfers you'll have to do. But anyways, I go to my friend's fleet carrier, where he has set up a buy order for tritium at the highest price possible, which is 1000%. Then, once I've given him cargo and he has paid me, he then sets up a sell order for his tritium for the lowest price possible, which is 5% of the galactic average. And repeat, then profit with tritium on my anaconda with 430 something units of cargo. Every time this transfer happened, the profit was around 180 million. And if you're quick, you can do it within three minutes or so. Uh, we usually did it in about five. It just requires a lot of communication between the two people. This is obviously not a grind. It's more of a just simple credit transfer from one account to another. And now that I think about it, it's not really that simple because you can't even issue buy and sell orders at the same time. The servers or something within at least currently in beta, they just simply don't work well together as long as one or the other is up. So you have to do it one by one. Also, if you're issuing a buy order for your fleet carrier, don't put it past thousand units because it just simply somehow doesn't seem to work anymore after that. You can't sell to it for some reason. So that's a bug. But regardless, the point is not there. The point and the question really is is, is this something that should exist? Should we be able to just transfer credits from account to account? Well, this is kind of a roundabout way, but regardless, it is possible and here it is. And from player's perspective, this is all round positive, and yet from the game designer's perspective, it's not. So I'm kind of torn between those two ideas. So, well, let's just examine the positives and negatives, why not? Let's take your average player. Now, this player just simply wants cash, and he has a friend who is willing to give him the cash, just like that, without doing anything, so that he can buy ships and whatnot else. Another positive is that you skip the grind, because, well, let's be honest, grind is basically just monotone repetitiveness of the same tasks, which you already know, and what's the point in just doing it some more? So skipping it is a good thing for you. The negative, on the other hand, is that only your friend loses the cash, or rather it transfers to you, and that is really offset if the friend has a lot of cash already, and he doesn't need it. And that's 
that's really it. Oh, okay, there are a few little things that I didn't mention, but regardless, do feel free to add them in the comments down below. Now, let's take a look at what game designer sees from this. And there are two positives. One of them is that the players are happy that they can do it, so it's a positive outcome on their part. And the other one is that players get to communicate as they are transferring the cash. So basically, it's just players socializing. But now, as for the negatives, they're a bit more involved, so follow with me. First one is the rise of cottage industries that literally sell credits for cash, like real life cash. As a matter of fact, a little while back I did a video on this very sort of a same cottage industry, where basically somebody was selling a service to take your account and then grind either credits on it, rank or something else, and you pay for it with money. Now this is something that I really, myself, even as a player, don't want to see in a game. It's frankly a very disgusting disgusting practice that really takes advantage of everyone, and I would not like to see something like this in Elite. Then the next negative from a game designer's perspective is that the players, thanks to getting all of it immediately, are skipping the gameplay. Now of course we laugh when we talk about Elite Dangerous and that the gameplay is the grind, which is kinda true. In a normal game, the gameplay should be the main thing that you go for, rather than just skip and say, well I might as well cheat or just somehow other way get all the stuff and basically say, okay, I'm bored now, I'm gonna quit. Skipping the gameplay or progression through basically these means of transferring credits or funds is not good for the player who even wants it. And that leads us to the next point. Most players who get to skip the grind or progression or some sort of unlock, while they will play with the thing for a little while, they will most likely stop playing the game all around sooner than if they had to grind for it or just acquire it normally if it's a good game. And that is obvious. And final negative aspect from the gameplay designer's perspective is that players could potentially just simply skip learning aspects of the game, the core values that everyone must know. Like for example, not flying without a rebuy. This as a matter of fact is one of the things that some developers when I talk with them do mention. That all oh, these players get all that money and then just die in a big ship. That first anaconda that they get and not having a rebuy loses it then goes on forums and complains about it. And that sort of experience is not a good thing clearly. And there you go. Basically, I'm still torn between the two aspects, whether or not it is really positive just to have it as a player, or really from the gameplay design perspective that it should really limit the amount, or not even be allowed in the first place, because it invites more issues than solves things. So there you go, this is the one where Yavix kinda sits on the fence. Kinda weird and disgusting feeling, but regardless, let me know what you think down below, and hey, if you're in beta, well, this is a at least right now, possible. So if you have a friend and you want that fleet carrier to test, uh, I guess you could do it. But if this is gonna be the live version of fleet carriers, I'll be a little bit concerned, to say the least. Oh, and before I leave you, of course, if you enjoyed the video, do share it around, it's all good for that. And hey, if you want to support the content that I make, consider becoming a patron. Other than that, well, yeah, it's time to test some more, oh boy. Right, to give you an example, right, what we are doing essentially is he's setting up the cheapest price of tritium on his mega sh uh, fleet carrier so I can buy the cargo on my anaconda and uh, then he puts up a price uh, that he wants to buy that stuff back for as much as possible, which is you know, a thousand percent. And uh, basically he loses money, but that money is not exactly lost. It's just simply transferred to the other person. And lo and behold, that's how you transfer cargo, uh, I mean, credits. Because that's totally intended gameplay, folks. Uh, look, honestly, there's no stupid like this stupid, but it's the best stupid we got. God damn.